Hey guys, this is Mega Monkeys, and in this video I've got five more pieces of free 3D software that you can go and download right now for no charge at all. I mean, who thought that people were nice enough to give all this stuff away for free? And um, so the first thing we have is View, and for those of you that have seen the first video, you're wondering, hey, I thought you did this last time, but uh, last time I did View Pioneer, which is their lowest level um, uh, just release of uh, of view, so it had the fewest features and um, it was the most restricted. But this you can see is view extreme, which is their most featured uh, release of view. And uh, don't worry, I'm not going to tell you to go do anything illegal. This is completely free, given away by. Uh, by Eon, the people who make View, and you see it's View 9.5 Extreme PLE, and what PLE stands for is Personal Learning Edition, and so you can just go to this website, www.view10.com slash PLE, uh, fill out this information, and they will send you an email, just like this, and it will give you a download link to download it. Uh, download Infinite or Extreme. Extreme has is more uh, featured than Infinite, uh, but it does give you the choice and to use in uh, for Mac or PC. And as you can see, it you can create complete projects. You can save it, export it to other applications like Max, Maya, Lightwave, Cinema 4D, Softimage, um, and which was the thing I was getting frustrated with with Pioneer was that you couldn't uh, it had no interaction with other programs and uh, important thing here that there you can render stills and animation with no size limit or length limit and you can uh, it never expires so it's not a demo or trial it's completely featured the only thing is that it's not for commercial use and to ensure that you do that it will render with a watermark which is kind of lame, but I mean, you're saving $1,500 by this, so it's kind of hard to complain. Um, and yeah, so you see, Extreme is $1,500, and Infinite is $1,000, and you can get them for free. So yeah, it's pretty amazing. I just learned about this a couple days ago, and that's kind of what sparked this whole video. Because uh, I just remembered I'd found a bunch of other programs recently. Um, and so the next one is called Make Human, which is, uh, it does exactly what it says it does. Uh, it makes human figures. So, let's open it. It's, uh, it's free. It's open source. Uh, it's in alpha right now. Um, and you can see on their website, you can download it for free. And it comes with nightly builds, so there are updates extremely frequently. Um, so here it is. We've got our 3D human model. Uh, make it female or male. Uh, and this is basically the most in-depth video game character creation screen of all time. Um, and you can go in and change all of these um, aspects, uh, features on on our person. Uh, it's pretty incredible, um, and you can uh, you can pose your uh, your uh, your model. Uh, it's a little. I haven't really done any of this animation, but it's. Uh, it works, I assure you. It's all rigged for you to go. Um, you can sort of see the rigging there. Um, you can render right in the program. Um, and yeah, uh, it's pretty great. You can export it. Um, you can do UV mapping. Uh, it's already uh, laid out for you um, here. So if you want to make a human figure this is a really great tool uh, so close that and our next um, our next program 
is called Mandelbulb 3D, which is a 3D fractal generator. Um, so if you don't know what a fractal is, it's a, I don't really know entirely actually, but it's a, it's a part of math where uh, basically it's a never ending uh, cycle, like things make up other things. It's, uh, I'm not very qualified at all to explain it, but, um, uh, but let's just open a, um, oh, what am I looking for? Okay, here's one. Um, so I, actually I'm going to just reset this because I think I made a little bit of a mistake. So I'm going to open this, and this is a fractal, but it's 2D, and so we can calculate the 3D fractal. And just like that, we have a 3D object. We can go to the 3D Navigator, which is really great. It's got um, these controls, so it's really easy. It, uh, it refreshes almost instantly. Um, and we can go just go into this... Um, I don't really want to say model, but it's a fractal, and we can keep zooming in forever, and we'll keep on, keep on finding uh, new things, which is really cool. Uh, so yeah, so once we find something we like, we can view to main, and press calculate 3D, and it will push that there, and this is. Um, the formulas, this is all the math stuff that I don't understand. Um, you can download pre-made formulas and they have a bunch of built-in ones as well. Um, but you can just play with the numbers and just look around with the 3D Navigator. You can also export this and view it in like ZBrush or something is how I've seen it used. Um, you can sculpt it from there. Uh, but it's just, it's a pretty cool uh, pretty cool program. Uh, so I'll just close that. And sorry, I'm just going through this really quickly because last one was a pretty long video. Uh, the next one is actually not a program, but um, some scripts to uh, sorry to retop retopologize uh, meshes in Cinema 4D because natively Cinema 4D has almost nothing for retopology, which is kind of lame. And if you don't want to get um, an extra program like Topo Gun or 3D Coat, and also it's just nice to um, to uh, be able to do it within your preferred program. Uh, so all of these are part of the uh, are part of the scripts. And so if I just open a, uh, find a sculpted, um, okay. All right, here's just a basic sculpt from Sculptress. Uh, actually, this one isn't too bad. Let me find a, one with some really gnarly, um, really gnarly mesh. Uh, sorry about this, I'm just going to find it. Uh, Logic and Sculptress is in the previous episode, so if you haven't seen that yet, you should uh, should go look for it. Okay, this is a creature I sculpted. Um, it's not the best, but as you can see, these are all the vertices, and it's pretty gnarly. Like, look at how many how many verts there are down here, and it's like it's pretty gross. I, I just did this really quickly, and also I wanted to practice retopology, so I didn't mind <laughs> making it a little messy. But uh, we can just, it'll ask us if it's symmetrical, empty mesh, we'll say yes. And so what it does is it, um, we have our um, object, which is what we're working on, which is shrink wrap to, uh, to the mesh that I'm retopologizing. With symmetry because I said yes and uh, instant hypernerves and I can just uh, I can just keep going around and um, yeah so I can show you my 
final or close to final retopologized mesh that's a r I mean it's a ridiculous word it's crazy long but um uh here we go so here it is and see how much nicer that is than what we had before it's still pretty messy because I wanted to subdivide this actually I'm going to go back one because that was nicer and I want to show you some nice stuff um, yeah it's more round we don't have the detail but it's all made of loops so if we wanted to animate it it should be pretty good uh, it's all symmetrical up here it's a little a little bit gnarly but but not too bad especially when you compare it to uh, to this like <laughs> and also this has uh, let's see it's got 20,000 points and this has about the same actually oh that's because we still have uh, we still have this Uh, okay, I'm sorry about this. Okay, I think it said we had 4,000, but I'm going to close this before I completely, completely screw up my work. Um, and, uh, oh, you also see the uh, view 9.5 extreme menu here, so that's the integration. I didn't have to download anything extra when I was installing it. It asked me what programs I had. I, had, I said Cinema 4D. I found the directory, and uh, I was good to go. Okay, next one is Substance Player, which um, is basically a procedural text or sorry, procedural texture or material generator. Um, and so I'll just open one of these. Uh, okay, H brick wall. Check this out. So we've got our 2D view, 3D view we can navigate, um, and all of our parameters that we can we can play with, and we can see all the different channels: diffuse, normal, specular, bump, height, and displacement. Um, and I'll just make this fit, and we can change the output to any size. It'll output the bitmap. Um, and then all of these different parameters that we can uh, that we can change um, and actually if we go up here uh, I've got all the links to download sites by the way in um, in the description of this video um, and here's substance player substance player is free but substance designer is not which is what they want you to buy but um, if you go to the 3D World website right now, they have their advent calendar, which is actually another point on my list. Um, if you just go to 3dworldmag.com, I recommend the magazine just in general. It's awesome. But uh, before Christmas, they're doing an advent calendar, and they're finding just free stuff and doing one thing a day. So some of them are training. Some are free models. Um, no, free view asset. I might download that with my free view extreme. <laughs> And uh, free, al okay, I don't know how to pronounce this word, algorithmic, I think, um, substances. And algorithmic is the company that makes Substance Player. And uh, so for this, they are giving away, uh, I think it was seven free substances, which you would otherwise have to pay for. Um, and so that is kind of a sub point. So all of these were, were free. Photographer looks interesting. Well, wow. and so these are all procedural and seamless textures that you can output as bitmaps, like I said. Um, so you export as bitmap. Um, and well, I just want to play with this. This is, this is cool. I didn't know about the, the tiger fur. But yeah, um, that is all I think. Yep, uh, so like to thank you for watching uh, oh it's actually about the same length as my previous episode but I hope you found some stuff that you find interesting you can download it for free right now um, so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and goodbye